Okay, in this video, I am going to show you how to grab some uh, data from Open Topography and then process it using LSD Topo Tools. Uh, I'm going to run LSD Topo Tools within a Docker container, and I've got several videos uh, of that previously. Uh, you can read the installation instructions. So we start with, um, because I'm in Windows, we start with the PowerShell. I start the Docker container. Uh, this command is in the documentation. I just start the Docker container going. And uh, we always need to start with this script. It's Linux, so if I just start typing the name of the script and I hit tab, it'll autocomplete. So that'll get me the latest version of LSD Topo Tools. Um, now, if I go back to Open Topography, I can grab some data. So I want raster data. Uh, and then I can go to global data and I can get some SRTM data. So let me. Zoom in, I'll grab a little piece of California here. This is a kind of interesting ridge, so I'll select this ridge here. And if I scroll down, I can uh, say I'll get the GeoTIFF. Don't want a hillshade because I'm going to use LSD topic tools for that. I can just have a example. Uh, it's pretty easy to look up my email on the internet, but I'm not going to show you that right now. And you can then, uh, at the bottom of that page, you can hit submit. So once I submit that, um, it'll extract the area of interest, and then you can just download this. So I'm going to download this. This will go into my downloads. Uh, so that's been sitting in my downloads. I'm going to copy that over to somewhere. Uh, so I've just I've cut and pasted that from my downloads. And um, so in my LSD Topo Tools directory, I have data. So I can make a new uh, I can make a new um, site here. So oops. so new folder. Uh, let's do. SoCal and here's the uh, data so that is all um, uh, from from a you always get this uh, tarred data set so we could try and do this in Windows um, but it's if you've got a small one, it doesn't really matter. But if you've got a big data set, it's much easier to do it in the Linux operating system. So I'm going to go into the the uh, that directory. So I'm, I've gone into the directory, and there's that data set. So um, there's a command called tar, which gets rid of this stuff. Uh, you need some flags. Uh, I'm not going to explain what these are. You always use the same ones, X, Z, F. Okay. And I'm just going to tar that, right? So it's uh, now extracted a TIFF file. So LSD Topo Tools doesn't use TIFFs. Um, basically, we didn't want to add an extra library, the GeoTIFF library, to the code. So we just we use something called NVBuild where we can easily upload the raw files. Um, so we convert this using a program called GDAL. Now, in the um, LSD Topo Tools documentation, you can find a bunch of information about how to use GDAL. Uh, I use GDAL every day. It's really useful um, to find it in the LSD Topo Tools documentation. So this is the main documentation. Um, if you want the GDAL stuff, there's this section, Introduction to Geospatial Data. And basically, whenever I use GDAL, I just copy and paste from this. So basically, I find the right GDAL warp command. So in this case, the GDAL warp command is one in which you're converting the uh, converting the um, projection. Okay, so. LSD Topo Tools takes UTM data mainly, uh, so we need to know where the UTM data is. That was Southern California. Um, I happen to know the UTM zone, but you can just 
do UTM zones and you can get the map, right? So we're actually in Southern California here and the zone is UTM zone 11 North. So we just go back here, change this to zone 11. We need the name of the, um, the file output srtm.tiff. The, or so that's the input. The output format is NV bill. So you say OFNV, and then we'll just call this SoCal.bill is the name of the output file. Okay, so that's gonna run. And that's finished running. So we can actually look at what it's done. Uh, need to start QGIS, so that'll take a second or so. Uh, should have started that before, but anyway, we're waiting for QGIS to load, and then we're going to have a look at what we've got. So in your C directory, because, uh, because your operating systems are linked, the container and this, you should be able to see uh, the two the two data sets that I've just done. So there's the output SRTM and there's the SoCal raster. So there's the output, there's the raster that I just made. Um, when you look at this, actually, you'll notice that you get, well, maybe it's hard to see that, but you can get a little bit of this banding um, when you convert from these different um, from these different coordinate systems. So actually, I'm going to redo this, and I'm going to call this SoCal2. And I'm going to say I want to resample cubic. So that's the resampling method. I'm just going to double check that that was the right flag. So resampling method is R. It's in, in the GDAL instructions. So I want usually a bilinear or a cubic one. Okay, so I've said cubic here. Uh, cubic's a little bit slower than bilinear. So it's done that again. And I can load that one up. Um, so this will be slightly smoother than the other one. I don't know if you can see that, but there's this banding that typically appears if you use the default resampling method. Okay, so now I've got a DEM. What am I going to do with this? I want to use, uh, I'm just going to make a hill shade using LSD Topo Tools. Um, to do that, I need a driver file. So I actually had driver files from a previous workshop. So I had LSD Topo Tools workshop data. So I'm just going to copy one of these, and this was in previous videos. So this is the, um, you can get the workshop data from, um, the LSD Topo Tools website. I'm just going to paste this in here, and I call this SoCal. Oops. Go on. Okay, and I'm actually going to make two of these. Now, what do I do with these? I need to open this with a with a text editor. Now I'm gonna just write the hill shade. So the name of the file is SoCal for the first one. So I'm just gonna do that. SoCal, SoCal first example. Um, to be honest, you don't need this. This will just get a, a hill shade example. Uh, and actually, I've just opened the O2 file, so I'm gonna do SoCal2. Now I'll open the other one. This is SoCal1. And SoCal. Okay, and I've saved both those files. And I'm gonna do... Oh, I wanted basic metrics 01. So that's the first one. This is the second one. 
Now I've got two hill shades, so I can load those up. Uh, let's zoom to layer. Refresh this. So I'll have two hill shades in here, so I can uh, load the bill files. So actually, if you load the bill files, this is SoCal 1. Hopefully you can now see that these this banding feature is really obvious. Uh, and this is when I use the resampling method, the cubic resampling. So that's how we go from uh, just the raw uh, open topography website to a very simple LSD Topo Tools analysis. If you wanted to do more analyses, you would just go into the LSD Topo Tools parameter file and start adding um, extra analyses flags. And just as a reminder, the um, for the basic analysis programs, you can just go back to um, the table that's in the basic analysis documentation site. So it's all in the on the appendix of the basic analysis. So there's lots of different options for you to um, modify your data and do different types of analyses.